Hello guys and welcome to the review video for Big Ram version 5.0. Now we are aware that a new version which is version 6.0 is out now but we'll just go ahead and review the version 5.0 and list out the bugs that is present here. Okay, so the first thing that if you have would have known if you would have followed our Instagram account was that we saw a magical rise in battery levels even when the device was not charged. So the there was a huge battery drain when you know the screen was awake and for no reason and then i just switched off the dis you know switched off the phone and then i just turned it back on and then i saw that the battery level actually jumped so it is actually a bug within the system which is giving you incorrect uh, battery reading and of course as you can see the status bar has changed so the wi-fi and the phone toggles are over here and there are no ways to change that right now even with exposed so i did change the icon types which was uh, exposed module externa so you can of course go ahead and install that. Now, the first thing that you'll see after installing this ROM in the settings page is that a lot of things are coming in a different language. So to fix that, like, okay, so as an example, as you can see, that is a different language. So a lot of things would have come up in this kind of a language. So to fix that, just head over and just go to language and input and just select a different language, say English UK or English United kingdom or any other English or whatever other language you are comfortable in and that bug will go away. Of course, this might seem like a new thing inside the settings page, but there is nothing new inside. As you can see, these will just take you to different apps. Okay, so this will take you to the Asus theme, themer. Okay, this will take you to the screencast, the super user app. And this will take you to Gravity Box, and these are all other Exposed modules. Now, Exposed does not come installed with this ROM, but I will post a link down in the description below, which which you can install to install Exposed. So the APK will be installed, and a few modules will be installed. But to actually run and use these modules, you'll need to flash the Exposed you know, zip file via TWRP. It's very easy. You download the zip file, you place it on the SD card go into your TWRP and just flash it just in the same way you would flash the big round 5.0. So besides that, the battery backup has been pretty good. The GPS works. The battery backup is good. As I already said, there are no audio video lags whatsoever. And we'll just go into settings and I'll show you that this is based on version 3.2, 3.40.52, but most features are brought over from .78. So you can expect very little bugs except the battery bug, of course, which is very annoying. So if you want a stock ROM, customized stock ROM, I would still prefer the blue recreated remix blue ROM by Technotales Place from XDA, the link for which review for which will be down in the description below. So you can always check that out. It's much better. And then this ROM, not by a huge margin, but I still feel that that would be a better choice for a recreated stock ROM than the big ROM. The first thing would be that the app drawer is, you know, the notification drawer is changed. This is a custom theme from Zen UI. The default theme is pretty ugly looking in my opinion. So if I go back into themes, so now finally you can install themes. The last big ROM version 3.0 that I had reviewed there you could install themes, but it would not show up in the installed section. So now that is fixed. And as you can see, that is a pretty weird looking notification bar. I don't know why that way it was edited that way. The next thing that I do not like is that this rearrangement in the status bar. I like all my icons to the left, right, right hand side. And of course there is a, you know, the internet speed counter, which again, I don't like. Even though it was included, I would have liked an option to remove or change or customize them, but there is no way to do that, not even with Gravity Box or Xistana. So you are pretty much stuck with those, but you can of course always install the theme and just change the, uh, the way the notification drawer looks. So that's pretty much from this ROM. There are not much bugs to talk about here, except of course the battery reading, which was pretty disappointing. And besides that, it is a pretty stable ROM to be used daily. It has, again, the network issues fixed. So even if you are on a subway and you lose network, you can always get your network back immediately when you get out of your subway. There won't be any battery drains, which was the biggest complaint of dot seven eight Lollipop. So you can always go ahead and install that, but you might want to give a look to the recreated Remix Blue ROM, which the review for which is again linked in down in the description below. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next review video.